Another great day out here. So may as well do it again. I may as well make use of this day as well. Might even get some rail fanning in. Come on, get out of the road. Take your lunch with you. Anyway, back in Glenarm, can't do any rail fanning here because I'm 65 years too late. Monpa Station again. Nope, I'm 65 years too late. When they perfect the, the time machine, I'll check it out. I'll get you some video. And back on the road with a hidden gas station in the trees. Too much deja vu, I guess. I'll find some other way. And the parking areas for the trails are all full. I guess I won't be stopping here. I think today is Sunday. With restrictions lifted. I'm not going to compete with them. Off the beaten path now. But up ahead, a beaten path. Route 1. Again. And again, off the beaten path. Now I'm someplace I can't recall ever been here or not. Don't recognize this stuff. Taking these other roads to avoid seeing US-1 over and over. Problem is, I forgot where this road comes out. I know how to find out though. But as things turn out, I better get back on to Route 1 to go where I want to go. Some of these back roads might be a bit nicer, but it takes longer to get where you want to go. Ah, whatever. I'm back on US-1. I apparently got some action going here. Maybe I'll keep shooting in case they're beating up somebody or whatever. Whoa! They flipped. They flipped over US-1. Hmm. I mean, it's a cool rope. I wouldn't flip over it, though. I wonder how they would have wound up that way, on that side of the road, parallel to the road. Hmm. Better than NASCAR drivers. Now I'm part of the original US-1. I haven't seen it in a while. Hopefully nobody flipped on this road. Yeah, Dolly says those folks back there must have been flipped out. Good one. She gets off a good one every now and then. You can see more of this road in my day out of seat about Route 1. And now proceeding through Palmer State Park. And of course, folks stop here as well in this park. Wrong side of the road, facing the wrong way. Where are the cops when you need them? Anyway, about to cross over Deer Creek. This bridge got refurbished about 10 years ago. Hard to believe this was Route 1. When Route 1 was first conceived of, way back when. And up ahead, back to the modern day US 1. The contemporary US 1. Now they have warning signs here over the road. They weren't here last I passed. 
not showing anything right now though. Maybe in case there's a horse and buggy on Conowingo Dam. The Amish do come down here on occasion. And again, as per usual. Getting to be too usual. An hour south on Maryland Route 222. Formerly US 222. And once again, here's Port Deposit. A little busier today than our last pass, but all the restrictions are still in force. Before the place began reopening. And up here again, the original route from Baltimore to Philadelphia, which have taken you over in the day Odyssey. At least here they take their turtles seriously. This is a turtle habitat. I have to ascend out of the place. Yep, we're ascending on out. Once again, CSX territory. See if anything's happening here. Once again, here we be. Right by CSX. Yeah, that's her up there. You guessed it. And then here we are in Amtrak territory, obviously. with some background music. If you can hear it, rather loud here. And here comes Amtrak. At least he gave a toot. Yeah. Now crossing back to our side of the river. Those trees on either side are Garrett Island. Accessible only by boat, despite this bridge crossing the island. You can only get there by boat. Go down there by boat. Probably like that deliberately. Interesting though, how bikes are allowed on the bridge. You're still gonna pay a toll there for going the other way. Pay an eight dollar toll. But going this way, it's free. That's why I do it this way. And up here we make landfall. And again coming into Aberdeen. I grew up in this area, but that's been a while. getting kind of late, so I guess I'll take her back. It's around 7.35 right now. Was hoping to do more rail fanning, but apparently neither Amtrak or CSX are running regularly due to the virus. Hard to say. Those cool signs again. 
out and about, do your part. Keep social distance. In my case, anti-social distance. But at least the road isn't as busy as it usually is. Only about a third of the traffic right now. A third to a half of the traffic. Fine by me. And again, a sign telling me to do my part again. Keep anti-social distance. Look good, I, I was anti-social, huh? We got back in the White Marsh area, where I grew up. As I keep reiterating, I'm a former White Martian. Also, as I said, I was hoping to do more rail fanning today. But really, this is more of a fresh air drive than anything else. Just to get myself some fresh air. Assuming there's some left. Well, there's a road that I saw earlier. How about that? We went north, though. Still got folks speeding, though. Can't say why. Yeah, better get back to the hood. And here I am back in it. And once again, thank you, all of you, very much for the privilege of your time. For sitting through all my videos. Much appreciated. Alright, I guess I head inside and edit this one.